on my Switch controller, so let's just start. Okay, hello everybody, and welcome to Modular Components. Uh, it's the fucking Wizzy Camps, and hey. we're feeling fine and fancy free. I'm your host, the Vacuum, and here, and I'm joined, as always, by the uh, busteriest of corpse. Hi. And the boingoiest of riders. Hello, bits, bots, and bites. No, oh, Jesus. <laughs> this, this fucking guy. This fucking guy with his this fucking, fucking silver cloud up in here thinks this he's more famous than all of us now. Then fuck off, <laughs> Mr. Fucking 1,200 fucking subscribers, dickhead. I have, I, bro, I lost 200 of those when I was doing toy reviews earlier this year. <laughs> Dude, I can log into your YouTube right now and it says 1,200. Why the fuck doesn't it say that for me? You know what? Fuck it. Let me look in it. Let me, let me actually log into your account because I have fucking, you gave me that oh, access God, some reason. What? You did forever ago. I do not recall this. Holy shit. It was for a specific thing. I don't remember what it was. Oh, no, it is. How have I not? I'm looking at it now. It says 1,208. What the fuck? Yeah. I could have sworn the other day when I looked at it, it said 1,008. What was the reason you gave me your... There was a reason you gave me your login for your YouTube channel. Maybe you uploaded a video for me or something? Uh, no, I don't think it was that. Well, anyways, go and, go and grief Mega Force sucks for me, will you? Make that whole goddamn series incomprehensible. Wipe it from my history. I want to be free. I want to be free from this pain. Uh, oh this no! Pain I can make. I can make. I can make wait, 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 community wait, wait, wait. posts. No, stop it! Stop everything, Buster. Did you just make a Star Wars reference? Yes. I'm so proud of you. You're healing. I guess, but like. Speaking of making references, Spider-Man, I, I just want to talk about this. So, like, I am starting to really despise Twitter.com, as any human should. Uh, I mean, I already despise it. But you know what is I'm this, uh, I was going to say, is this new? Is it, well, how did you just come to this? I, I don't know. Well, I, I was just trying to make some sort of big statement to just segue into, can you flippers stop making Spider-Man trend every day? Just be patient for the movie. <laughs> no, I want my movie now. I want to see my boys it? now. I want <laughs> pictures of Spider-Man, damn it. <laughs> this Wait a minute. Let me get him. Let me fucking get him. God damn it. This just gives me the wonderful mental image of just a bunch of Spider-Man characters that are- You have a problem with this man? And Why do you pick him? So anyway, this is going to be the bunch of- this is gonna be, the whole be nice, sir. I'm be nice to the elderly. I don't know what's going on with him, uh, but, like, basically, I'm trying to say this gives you the wonderful mental image of J. Joan and Jameson and, like, a bunch of Spider-Man characters who just aren't Spider-Man. They're all just cluttering at a movie theater, and they're just like, we want Spider-Man! <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't I don't know if you guys gave context to the audio listeners, but I got my Marvel Legends J. Jonah Jameson and waved it at the camera like a child. Oh, I did not see that, because I was... What? I was not looking at the camera. I was, I was looking at Twitter.com. Oh, well, you said you hated Twitter.com! It's a dick. It's a, it's a Why dog. are you a hypocrite, Buster? You're you're a hypocrite too. What am I hypocritical about? Uh, Common Rider. There. What am I hypocritical about Common Rider? Because I said so. Dang it. Wow. Wow. Okay. Fucking the Beyonder up in this shit. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking references only I would get back. Thank you. I I'm always looking out for you, man. You're my number one. You know that. We've been we've been shitting about Beyonder uh, from Secret Wars two for the past couple of days. Wait, there's Secret fucking... Wars two? Yes. Yeah! Beyonder is basically God, and the entire premise of Secret Wars two is: what if God was just a baby man who didn't know anything, and he found us? Did like Gara cover Secret Wars two? Did I just skip that event? Comics month? No, Comic Pop did. Uh, okay. I, I You'd like know. Comic Pop. They're they're. They're a bunch of fine lads and lasts. I probably would, but I just, I just don't have the time. I just not, I don't have time. I'm just already subscribed to so many channels. And just like, eh. <laughs> that just, that doesn't just fucking stop me, enough, boy. Maybe. Yeah, but you don't watch them. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're That's only a one harsh, that is a harsh accusation right there. The only one you watch is like Red Letter Media. I do watch them a lot, but they're not the only channel I watch. I watch the Foosh. I watch fucking um. This, this really cool guy called Boingo underscore Ryan. Uh, I think he died or something because he hasn't uploaded him forever. Oh, I'm dead. 
All right. No, I'm I'm fucking going to, to I'm going to my fucking watch history right now because I gotta prove this child wrong. No, that's a good YouTuber. Unnecessary oh. inventions. Well, I mean, that sounds like a Boingo Core like idea. Just like yeah, oh, I've not cool. heard of them. <laughs> Basically, he makes unnecessary inventions. The thumbnail I'm looking at right now is a uh, cursed pair of underwear based off of a croc. Like you can't see my face, but my face is like. I'm making my best judging new face. Yeah, it's exactly. funny. It's funny shit. And you got and you said YouTube poops aren't funny. Um, hold on. Dang, so you gotta prove. I'm trying to find you a good. Also, his studio is like peak. Yes, that's what our studio should be like one day. Mm. But uh, no, this is a uh, this is one of his inventions. Back, I hate slash love you because Ultraman God, you know, has reached 400 plus feet. What? The, ult- the Ultraman Trigger premiere episode where you made a section of thought. Type- oh, sick. <laughs> also, apparently the third highest viewed episode of Twin is the one where we drop girl. Mm. Oh, please I- tell me he didn't use the fucking Hasbro toy for that. No. Okay. Why did I thought those like fingers looked like Because they look like sausages. Little, little, little dickies. It's bad um, singing. I don't like him. Dang. I-, I have no idea who he is. Got, got a hot take tonight. Got a hot take. Little Dick, Little Dicky is bad, actually. Doesn't he have a Hulu show? I don't he, know. It's on FX. Oh, it's on FX. I guess I just saw like advertise as FX on Hulu because they do that. I mean, That's another I, one of the suit inventions. I only know him from Todd in the Shadows videos, honestly. I've yet to watch Todd in like any Todd in the Shadows content. Todd in the Shadows that. is good. Go watch Todd in the Shadows. He's probably one of the the best uh, glow ups from the, the that guy with the glasses era. Yeah, he's a good music tuber. I just I don't really watch music tubers unless it's like video game music. Like, Neither do I, but I fucking like him. Look, look! Don't judge me. You are to judge me. <laughs> Buster's like, don't do the thing we've been doing for the last five minutes. <laughs> don't do the thing that we do to you all the fucking time. Yeah, fair. I I do judge you. Too. But no, like I watched I watched Dang Pods' wholesome new video the other day. Um, <laughs> Dang Pods is like vac. Those just two words, Mary. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Uh, I mean, I I'm the one who. Have- I was, I'm the one who introduced him to Dank Pods, so... Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it's speaking, of people, speaking of people you've introduced me to, I was watching Danhausen and Jobby before I got in the call. <laughs> oh. so I watched Home Sweet Home Alone. Oh, why? Do why, do you, why, do you, why do you hate yourself, Buster? Why can't you learn to love and appreciate your own sanity? Look, it was, a, it was only an hour and 30 minutes. It was pretty short. And I still felt like it was too you, long. You could have watched literally anything else. Yeah, I could have been playing. Shang Chi went on Disney Plus this week. I Fucking Shang Chi! I already watched that movie, so I'm like, I feel like suffering, and because Home Alone one and two are like some of my favorite films ever. Also, why, 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 why did you feel like suffering? Do you need help? Do no. we need to? Do we need to check you into the the mental ward? The Is this an intervention? Anyway, let me talk about the movie. Let me talk about the movie. <laughs> Uh, it's weird. So, like, they try to make the robbers sympathetic. They are literally parents of, like, like a, a bunch of kids. And, like, the only reason they're stealing from the, the British kid is because the British kid's a jerk. It's a British so, kid? Yeah, the British kid's, like, the Kevin of the... And it's, like, the, he's, like, a Oh, I thought, it was a, I thought it was a remake with a new kid playing Kevin. No, because it, it's canon to the Home Alone lore because Buzz McAllister shows up later as a cop and for only like two scenes that don't even matter to the plot. Okay, you you just said the phrase it's canon to the Home Alone lore, so I'm going to go blow my brains out. <laughs> Look, it's at least more canon well, no, than Home I Alone 4. I haven't seen Hangman vs. Omega yet. I it's, it's more canon than Home Alone 4, I can say that much. I haven't seen yeah. Home Alone before. I haven't. I have only seen Home Alone one and two. I only watched the set. two. I only watched the two ones that everybody says are good. I did that with fucking Home Alone and Terminator, and one day I'm gonna do that with Aliens and Predator as well. Because apparently I'm the only fucking smart person in the world. I'm the only person who actually fucking pays attention to reviews and uses them to inform how I live my life. Sir, you're going to watch Jason Go to the Hell, and you're going to like it. No! I don't want to. <laughs> I don't like scary movies. 
Look, after, like, the, the Nostalgia Critic bashed, like, Jingle All the Way and Last Action Hero, which I also watched at a Palette Cleanser, uh, like, I, I, and, like, I Those are good those movies. Films. Yeah. Yeah, those like, are good movies. Them, and, like, and those were... Because he has shit taste, because he's a fucking snob. Yeah, you're right. He's uh, more of a snob than the cinema snob. And he watches I, porn. Yeah. But, I don't know. Story. Oh, gonna, how does this podcast keep coming back to Channel Awesome? Because you're in it, Buster! Also, the entire internet is fucking informed by Channel Awesome in some way, shape, or form. You can track it back to either a creator from Channel Awesome or James Rolfe. So we must go back in time and or prevent Strong James Bad. Rolfe from or, Castlevania 2. Or, uh, uh, what's the thing Strong Bad's from? Homestar Runner. Yes, that. I never watched any Homestar Runner, so... I like, should. I should, get, I should get to it. Like, they put it all on YouTube. Probably, like, as me as well, but I, I'm just, I, don't, I have no interest. Fair. Um, I, feel like, I feel like it's humor that would only... I feel like it's one of those things that people still like because they liked it when they were a kid, and if I come to it now as an adult, it's not going to hit for me. Fair. Anyway, back to Home Sweet Home Alone. Uh, there's a lot of weird dialogue in that movie. Uh, like, they, they literally say, what, we need this W. They actually say that in the movie, twice. Actually, I think, like, three times. In, like, the same scene. They say, we I mean, need this W. You I mean, mean, what do you fucking expect when we say it all the goddamn time in, like, podcasts and it shit? It sounds so what? unnatural, though. It's like... Yeah, because here's well, the thing. That's not what we're saying. We're say, it's a shorthand for we need this win. But we don't say... But, guys, we don't say we need this win anymore. We say we need this W now, and so fucking Hollywood writers are gonna see that and go- No, cause fucking Connor says it out loud on Trash Taste every fucking week! So fucking somebody's listening to Trash Taste in Hollywood, and fucking this shit and go, get the fucking pay my goddamn bills with this fucking script, dude! I may have too. I may have gone too far in one or two places. <laughs> one or two? Uh huh. I- I'm pretty sure nobody could hear what you're saying, and if they did, they deserve a medal. Yeah, type in the comments what we, were we just said. Transcript what we were saying in the comments. I'll I'll, se- I'll send you a pizza roll. Like depending on how far away that person is, that's gonna be disgusting. Yeah. You pack okay. it in a hot pocket and you're good. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, oh, it's gonna be the new turducken, like a like a fucking pizza roll in a pop tart in a hot pocket in a yeah. pot pie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, boy. A weird question: Has there ever been any last action hero video essay? Yes. I, okay. Okay. Uh, how do you fucking know that so quickly? Because I've watched at least one of them. I don't remember where, but I've have seen one. Okay, good. Because like then, then, then uh, I think Renegade start. Cut made one forever ago. Yeah, let me that Google would, this. That Last would make action sense. Hero video essay. Nope, yeah, there's no a couple. Luck. Yeah, there's a couple people. There's a couple people. Unfortunately, the Doug's video comes up. Too. Well, Although that's gonna happen. I also, I'm just saying, I watched the movie on Netflix. Netflix had a really good mm-hmm. print of it. It looked very nice. Um, Have I ever actually said? In content that like Arnold Schwarzenegger was legitimately one of my heroes as a kid. I think you've said that before. Like we can infer it. L- like I've said, I like Terminator a lot, but I don't think I've ever said specifically that I like Arnold, and I still respect him even after he fucked his maid. <laughs> he what? <laughs> this was years ago. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. All I know, all I know about Arnold is that he was the governor of California. Yeah, and, and he fucked his maid while he was the governor of California, and it was a huge scandal that... Uh, did it end his marriage? I can't remember now, because I haven't paid attention uh, to him in a few uh, years. I think they might still be married. I think they worked it out. All right, good for now. I just think they tried to uh, basically make amends with the maid and the illegitimate child. Because mm-hmm. he's, just... got, he's got a couple different kids from a couple different ladies now, like Jason David Frank. Uh, you, know, you really gotta bring JDF back into it. I, I, I almost yeah, because I was him. trying to slam him. Okay, good, but like I want him. I think it's better if we forget him instead of doing Just anything. He's got like five kids, and he only ever features one of them on his YouTube channel. The, the one that was in the Nintendo Switch Battle for the Grid commercial, right? Yeah, that that uh, I'm not gonna say anything disparaging about her because she's just a kid. Yeah, so she's like young. She's around my age, probably. Oh, I mean, she God, she might be fucking high school age now. Yeah, she looks high school age from what I saw. Last time I saw her was during, was fucking behind the scenes footage for Megaforce, so. Oh, she was like 11. 
Ah, uh, that's fucking with my brain. The passage of time is real. The passage of time is real, everybody. You, you want to feel old? Megaforce says it like... <laughs> was it? I, I, I was just making that up. It's like 16, 17. I think it started coming out like literally the the end of the year after Megaforce. Yeah, let me, let me, or Super Megaforce. Megaforce. When did yeah. Super Megaforce finish airing? Add like six to eight months onto that. That's when okay. I made the first Megaforce Sucks. Okay, so so it's like you started in 2017. Did you do like daily uploads for each part? No, it was like a part a month. Part a month. Okay. Then the upload dates are also weird because you had to re-upload. Okay, you started in 26. Mm. First part was like 26. Yeah, that tracks. That year was a clusterfuck and horrible. Oh, God. Honestly, I feel like the only reason that 2016 did suck for me as much as everyone else is because I did... Remember when we all thought 2016 was as bad as it could get? Oh, God. I mean, it's... <laughs> it's I mean, it's still... It still took Bowie away from us. Yeah, fuck cancer. Uh, you know, I was I was just gonna make a stupid joke about the 1930s, but I'm like, nah, the 1930s break. I mean, with the way the economy's going, we're gonna speed run the Great Depression, boys. All right, speed run Great Depression. Go one, two, three, four. Three. What do you mean speed run? This is gonna be a fucking Dark Souls challenge run of the Great Depression. The fuck are you talking about? Oh god, this is I'm trying to be somewhat optimistic. But but do we do we have a uh, uh, a fucking guy who's willing to go four terms and add socially progressive economic uh, policies to our fucking lexicon? No, we have a hand puppet with who's being everybody's getting up in there. You know, the most have you political episode of like much? Have you actually? All right, fuck off, Buster. Have you actually listened to one of Joe Biden's recent speeches? Yeah, no, he, he's not I, good. It's I just know. nonsense. And not like the, the like, frustrating Trump nonsense, but like the... Not, from what what? Oh, no, Grandpa, go sit down, Grandpa, for your own good. Grandpa, please, kind of bad. From what I hear, it's just like, okay, average president bad, which I feel like the last few... Yeah, and like, in the moment, that's why I voted for him. But like, now that we're knee-deep into it, it's like... Buddy, buddy boy, if you're a puppet, could could the people puppeting you fucking do something, please? They are doing something. They're maximizing their profits. Okay, this is the most political episode yet. And here's the thing. This isn't really this isn't really me in political mode. Oh, God. I'm scared now. Facts see me more full political mode. <laughs> Dig into some of the analytical fanboys back catalog. You'll have a fun time, Buster. Oh, yeah. Okay. What about analytical fanboys? What about? Of course you do. You guys lived it. Well, we we started the other podcast. I can't remember what we talked about on Twit this week. How do you expect me to remember years of analytical fanboys? Because you lived it, buddy, 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 pal, buddy, friend, buddy, guy. If he can't remember, think about this. I have ADHD. Do you think I fucking remember anything? You think you remember what he had for breakfast this morning? I don't even think I had breakfast. I think I forgot to eat it. What the fuck, dude? That's the most important meal of the day. I also forgot to eat lunch. No, no, I'm actually the same, but only... Have you eaten anything today? Two chicken patty sandwiches, mac and cheese. Sick. I had um, a bowl of cereal, an Italian sub, and sporadic doses of Little Debbie snack cakes. I had eggs, and that's about it. Eggs. You're the healthiest fucker out of this group. <laughs> I'm like the unhealthiest person you will know. I eat like spicy chips all the time. Mm. But eggs are like pure protein. You fucking start your day with eggs, you're starting your day right. I mean, that's only if you're eating the egg whites. Ooh, yolks are pretty... I, kinda, pretty... I, I go like some of the egg mm. whites. Anyway, um, what are you looking for? Also, uh, Boingo, I've been playing SMT5. Yeah, no. Good on you. Good. I'm happy for you. I'm, I'm not. I'm not sad that I don't have the money to buy the game right now. That I've been. Dang. That I wanted. The whole reason I wanted to switch. Dang. Hey, Boingo, yeah. what's your Venmo? I don't fucking know. Okay, I'm telling my PayPal. You have to pay him sixty dollars. Oh fuck that! Yeah, no, it's a it's a full price game, bud. What? This is why I don't play video games. Who the fuck would pay sixty dollars for anything? He says having paid eighty dollars for Marvel Legends. <laughs> having paid what three hundred, four hundred for Galactus. That was a mistake. But you're getting Galactus. Has he but, I didn't, 
Galactus, Gal- even- Galactus doesn't ship till next fall. Dang it. Yeah, it's called a pre-order. Well, like, that's a bit of an... Exp- oh, no, because it's... Yeah, it's also a limited run. Limited Proud run I just realized day. we didn't talk about Disney Plus today. Like, I thought that would be like the main... I thing like the- logos. I am good at oh, yeah. Photoshop. Disney, yes. I mean, we've got we got some teasers for Moon Knight and she... <gasps> what the hell is that? <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> You were like a fucking uh, chicken that can't stop bagocking. <laughs> a fucking cartoon. It happens. I don't know. Sometimes I, it just happens. And it's like a reverse burp. <laughs> That's exactly what it sounded like. I love it. You gotta make that part of your brand, buddy. <laughs> you fucking control that shit? Um, quick question. Who the fuck is Echo? Apparently some daredevil sidekick. Uh, she's in Jason David Frank's Avengers. She's currently the Phoenix. Jason David Frank? Not Jason da- Jason Aaron. Oh, okay. <laughs> Y'all like, fucked over my brain earlier. I was on edge for a second. I was like, what, the- what did he J- start Jason I mean, it might as well be his writing because people do not like his Avengers. Oh, yeah. Man. Jason Aaron's Avengers is just happening over there at this point. I, like, I don't know anybody who's reading it. But is that the one? Somebody... Like- Somebody is, because they're like almost 100 issues in at this point. Is that the one with Robbie Ray as Ghost Rider at the start? Yes. Yeah. He's still in okay, it. I know, I know someone who, but I, I, they stopped reading comics anyway. Blade is in it. Uh, they live in... Maybe that was the reason. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It just, they stopped it because like yeah. they're a YouTuber, and they just because they're gaming. Ch- I'm talking about Professor Thorgy. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> but the Daredevil relation does make sense, because I saw that name, and I was like, why is that name familiar, but I don't know it? And for like a minute, I thought it was... Now I can't remember the person I thought it was. Fucking uh, the sidekick from the the Back in Black arc, Charles Soul Run. Longshot? Is that his name? I was thinking like, when I saw that logo, I was like, wait, didn't they already make a movie about... There was like a... The logo looked kind of similar to his orange, you know? Yeah, I'm I'm trying to see who the fuck Longshot is. Longshot's an X-Men character. Okay, that's not who I thought it was. I have to figure he out who this is. He has three fingers and he has luck powers. Was he in Deadpool 2? I think he was referenced in Deadpool 2. Okay. Uh, uh, the the boy with the bow staff on this cover. Oh, that's a design. Charles Soul's run is great. I just... I, I fu- it was a few years ago now, so I don't remember most of it. Dang. Except that it was really good. Uh, I remember, like, big strokes. Like, fucking... Matt takes a <laughs> case about secret identities to the Supreme Court. And that's awesome. Isn't oh, that, uh... Oh, um, Spot! Marvel. That's his fucking name! Okay. Well, like, they showed up his Marvel teaser during Disney Plus Day, and I was like, well, that that, that looks like Ms. Marvel. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, and the buster was made happy. I didn't okay, see that teaser, I'm still on edge. I'm still on edge. I'm God still damn on it. Edge. it. You'll never be pleased. I'm never pleased. Like, I'm always on edge. Like, do it right, do it right, do it right. We found, we found Buster's wrestling merch shirt. I'm never pleased. Yeah, but I think that'll just be my catchphrase for the rest of I'm never pleased. Like, the only time uh, I'm pleased is if you do funnies. I didn't actually catch that teaser, though. What, 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 I just saw images, to be honest, and I was like, well, that, that looks like the first issue. Okay. Like, like, Bruno looks like Bruno. They got the red, That's, even down to the red beat. That's how I felt seeing the set photos, so. The Moon Knight stuff looked fucking amazing. I kind of hope that's good. I want like I want like a good Moon Knight. Really interested in She Hulk because She Hulk's one of those characters who I've always known a lot about, but I've never actually directly read her. So it's like I'm invested, but I'm also not. It's weird. It also looks like they're doing a lot with uh, her comic book origin, which is uh, Bruce Banner had to donate blood, and she became a Hulk through that. Mm-hmm. Uh. And I'm pretty sure that Shang-Chi end credit scene takes place after She-Hulk because of him being fucking normal man again. Or maybe during. Maybe he just switches now. That would that would make me even more annoyed about that shit in Endgame, honestly. I mean, look, honestly, I, I'm just like, I'm not even sure how I feel about that. I'm just kind of like different. Minus a, that's a fine movie. Didn't you go see Shang-Chi at midnight? Not at midnight. Like, I saw like, not opening night, but like with some friends. Huh? Have you seen Eternals yet? No, I don't want to. You should. Those. Eternals is actually really good, and it's barely connected to the rest of the MCU, even though it built a lot of lore. It, it, Eternals, it, it, are, Eternals are always barely connected, but also the most connected Marvel thing ever. 
It sets up a few new MCU things besides Eternals, but it doesn't, like, it's not like fucking um, Bucky shows up or something, you know what I mean? I guess my, my th- interesting my thing will just, like, I'm kind of like, I'm most, I don't know, but just they're not adapting characters minus, like, they're starting to adapt characters I'm invested in. Uh, but, like, right now, they're just kind of, like, uh, like you know, just the sameness is kind of getting to me, especially with, like, eight projects releasing this that's, year. That's the thing I never understand about complaints about the MCU, that, that it's all the same. It's, what the fuck are you talking about? They're all different. I think, like, I think, I think it's, like, there's a certain style, you know? Like, I guess, I don't know. Maybe, I, there is differences, I'll admit. It's just there's always, like, like the joke style. The joke style. Like, I, I, I think that's just what... Um, but but also, it, like, like, we've had... Thinking back, we had one superhero MCU movie this year. That's it. One superhero. Well, even so, like, just the MCU, like, flooding my scene, and I'm just like, let me Oh, we got Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man is like, like, I'm invested, but that's just because Spider-Man's one of my favorites. Yeah, but, like, Loki's not a superhero show. Neither was uh, I mean, WandaVision. So, just, just so much MCU, and I'm just like, let, let me rest. Let me rest. <sighs> and don't be, like, that's the problem. You're you not just... supposed to stay invested 100% of the time. You're supposed to see what well, you want to see. They want me to. They the want fucking, me to. Shut up, time. Buster. The fucking problem is everybody hopped on the MCU and it became the world's hottest topic. So everybody thinks you have to keep up with every last goddamn thing. And yes, it's not helped by shit like No Prize Podcast. But the fact of the matter is, you don't. If you want to dip in and out, that's supposed to be the point. There's a big through line and everything is all connected. But that's only for the big fucking nerds like that one over there. Okay. This one. Like, here's the thing. Like, what if should not have been as big as it was? What if it was for people like me? What if what if made me mad because it did an Avengers thing at the end and I was like, but you didn't need to, and everybody else was going, This is amazing. It was so cool how they built up to that. And I was like, Oh yeah, that's what people have come to expect from the MCU. Maybe that just because I don't I follow also nerds, but like what if was kind of mixed for what a general reaction. But that's kind of the point. Because everybody was expecting something with like one thing, and it was it was a what if it was what if mm-hmm. that's what if that's how what if has always been. What if like, is I'm stupid about, talking, bullshit? The comic, yeah. I, I was more talking about the the, the what's it called, the built up to the Avengers, the Guardians of the Multiverse. I hated that name so yeah, much. The, the I, Exiles, yeah, probably should. I like, just like stealth exiles, boom. Uh, um. I, I think, I, yeah, honestly, you do bring up a good point. It's just maybe because I'm thinking, like, corporate, but just Disney, we always... Hit. Well, welcome to fucking Disney. Yeah. yeah. That's that's the point. Like, they want you to always be invested. They're going to do that. You just need to learn to say no. Yeah, honestly, like, a turn... That's just like, the problem. Do People don't know how to fuck... Like, no, uh, bro, you gotta watch Game of Thrones. You gotta watch Game of Thrones. You just gotta I fucking watch no. Game of Thrones. No. No. Buster... Buster, I'm gonna tell you something that my mom recently told me that her and my sister learned in their fucking addict meetings. No is a complete sentence. Nice. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, honestly, I'm starting to do that. Like, I'm skipping Eternals. Like, I didn't watch much of the Disney Plus stuff. Like, I tried watching Loki. But, you know, I'm probably gonna skip Hawkeye, even though, like, Kate Bishop is... Here's the thing. You don't pay attention. Like, look at the trailers if you're interested, interested. And, like... If you're like, and if you want to get caught up on the idea of what they are for the one thing you are interested in, just in case, fucking listen to a podcast. Yeah, like that's what probably we have, we have the technology. That's what yeah. you're supposed. Honestly, legitimately, podcasts like No Prize and other ones like it. That's that's the editor's note in the comic. By the way, this happened in this issue. Uh, or just like honestly, context clues. I've always been someone who loves learning. Mm-hmm. Like fun fact, Civil War was one of the first Marvel movies. Uh, I, I picked up a lot of the character context clues, and that was a lot of funny. The second time I saw Civil War, I was I was with a buddy who was like that. He had seen some other MCU stuff like that, but like he literally said to me, "I don't like watching the single movies. I, I like when they get a bunch of people together because that's more interesting." And I, I was like, like, "That's a weird opinion, but okay." Honestly, like, I do get that, just more dynamic interaction, more colorful, like, bigger. And, yeah, I, and see, my biggest more... bugbear with, like, everybody just going, like, oh, I'm tired of the MCU, I'm tired of superhero movies, it's just, like, there was one superhero movie. One superhero show, that's it. People just keep... because it's Marvel doesn't mean it's a superhero. 
because it's a comic book thing, it's a superhero. Because in the West we have in the West we have two really stupid problems. Number one is we think all animation is for kids. Number two is we think all comics are superhero stuff. So when a comic book company makes a movie studio, we think all they're going to make is superhero movies. When in reality, like, the MCU has made horror movies and spy thrillers and shit like that. Um, it's not a I, guess. It's just no, what no, they I, make. I, no, I, yeah, it's what they make, but, like, I'm just an additional freak. I don't know what else to say, I guess. Well, what else do you want to talk about, Buster, huh? What's more important than the MCU? Invincible. I just really God, like Invincible. Yes. Also, One Piece. I, start, I, I finished... Oh, fuck, oh, fucking... No! Damn it! One Piece! <laughs> Yeah, I finished East Blue. I'm writing a video on it before moving to Alabasta. And- oh, yeah. Alab- Alabasta's gonna be a fucking long-ass saga. Yeah, Not- I, also, like, I read how much, like, I looked up how much chapter saga is. And, like, Alab- 40 is the only nice things I can have. It's like, you can see, like, Vax camera. He's literally like, just standing up and just, like, doing the Will's desk. Toys, his toys. No, like, um, yeah, no, the farther I have a feeling with you specifically, the farther you get into One Piece, the more you're going to enjoy it. Yeah, I- I'm just like taking breaks for one just so I can watch two, so I can make little, like, because, like, I was thinking about, like, man, I want to, like, I-, I process media best when I write about them, so I want to make some piece videos. And, like, then my buddy Asterix told me, oh, yeah, like, One Piece, like, first time reading through which arc videos are pretty popular, and that would be a good idea to do. So, I'll do that. Like, every time I finish an arc, I'll write a video on it. Yeah. No, it's been a while since I've read through East Blue, mainly because I've been I've been current with uh, One yeah. Piece. Yeah, like, you're on Wano's the current. Oh, yeah, no, I'm uh, in Onigashima. Yeah, no, you'll you'll learn you'll learn what Onigashima is eventually. Yeah, I know, like, Yamato is, like, my Yeah, she's one. great. I love Yamato. He's one of my favorite reds. Of <laughs> um, in a, uh, they put out a thing that was basically like a character Bible officially sanctioned by Oda. It says gender female. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm gonna say they find them good reps. It's a miscommunication with, because she's a Boku girl. That's what she is. And you uh, can't translate that into English well. I mean, here's the thing. Big Mom also uses the same pronouns. <laughs> Like that's a that's just a that's the weird thing of translating from Japanese to yeah, uh back to, like East Blue. Uh yeah, I like I like I you know how he said like uh, chapter one was kind of the no like writing about Arlong Park I was like oh I get why I get why everyone like that that's yeah, why like process media through writing. I need to discuss it to fully get the I'm weird. Yeah, see that's the that's the thing about One Piece is like it takes you like going through it. You're going yeah man this is hype, but the minute you step away and close the book for a moment and think everything starts going like oh wow okay there's a lot of depth here yeah like uh even even just like the simple gray and especially the, the, the art especially the art in our long good like, <laughs> I, I i just every like fight panel like pose and here's so, the thing i it's gonna east get blue is probably the weakest arc uh uh east blue is probably the weakest art of all of one piece yeah it yeah, only like, improves yeah and i'm already like hooked like i like I make a statement in the video I make, like, oh, you guys, they say One Piece starts weak? No. Our, chapter 1, it get, it hits running, like, chapter two is a little slow, but then it can get after chapter, with chapter 3 onward is just banger. Um, uh, the thing is about One Piece starts weak is, it's One Piece fans talking, because we've been through Alabasta, we've been through Skypea, we've been through, we've been through goddamn in, in its lobby water seven we've been through so much shit that like east blue is like drinking water now like it is it's weak compared to what you'll eventually get to one piece is fantastic everybody should read one piece yeah and it's like i find it no like, like a quick reader but i find it manageable to like it's a long series don't get me wrong but i find it like the manga very man at least for oh yeah Especially because I have times, and I know not everyone has time. No, Every, like One Piece is phenomenal, and I don't think anybody who could actually genuinely dislike it, other than for super phenomenal, and I don't think anybody who could actually genuinely dislike it, other than for super special aesthetic reasons, which is a fair reason to not like something. If you don't vibe with parts of it, you just don't vibe with it. You know what I mean? And I mean, it has outsold a uh, Batman. It's almost outsold Batman currently, hasn't it? Yeah, One Piece has outsold Batman. Yeah, Don't give me that look back. I am not. Te- I'm not lying. Although I know, apparently there was like some like I know like culture wars. I was saying One Piece outsold Demon Slayer, outsold like 
Yeah, no, that's bullshit. Fuck that shit. Yeah, that, yeah. Just read and like like what you want. I can't stand. However, whenever you see a news article saying like, "Oh yeah, manga sold this much in fucking America this uh, this month," isn't that cool? And isn't that cool and wild? There's always going to be one comment just going like, "Yeah, that's why comics are fucking failing because they keep on doing woke culture bullshit." Mongo's forever. And it's just like, brother. So frustrating. Like, have you, have you not? Buddy, buddy, One Piece, the most popular manga it? in the world, has a, it has an entire tribe of non binary icons. And one of the most powerful samurai of Wano is a trans woman. And also, uh, military. They make military commentary of the Marines and stuff. Oh, yeah, no. it's it, One Piece is like 98% leftist. Other than the fact that they still use monarchy for, like, pretty princess fairy tale stuff. Yeah, well, that's just general fantasy. Yeah. One Piece is fantastic. Yeah, I, re- I really like it. I can't, I, I'm honestly like, okay, question. What chapter does the times? I don't remember, but it happens after uh, Marine Ford. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm just like, you know. I'm trying to get you the cha- uh, specific chapter number right now. Because I, I know what happens. Out, it's like Marine Ford, post Marine Ford, and then it's. I heard it's like five hundred or something. It could be wrong. But yeah, One Piece is dope. I can't wait. I, I'm kind of like we're trying to reserve some thoughts because I have more like specific moments I want to like talk about in the video. And also, I've been listening to like a couple of my current favorites are Da Ice's one. I think on and Hard Knock Days. Hard Knock Days. I, I, I like that even song before I even like got. Like I just heard it on Twitter and I was like, I'm not even like not like well, One Piece. I feel like I can broke the hood latch on my car today. Oh yeah, uh, can we get can we wrap it up? Jesus Christ! I'm sorry, not, I didn't mean I didn't mean to. Like, I know you just. Like, <laughs> I love that two non sequiturs back to fucking. I'm so sorry. Uh, actually, Boingo's internet just died. I need to go. Well, fuck my ass and make it glass. I guess plug your shit. I right, busted quick video essays. How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. I broke that hood latch, and now I'm alone. I want to wait and see if Boingo comes back. I'd pick up my phone and text him, but I don't want full gear spoilers. Hello? 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 I'm sorry, internet died out. Uh, Buster bombed out right after you left the call. Oh, <laughs> Buster literally said, I need to go, and then you dropped. And I said, I guess plug your shit. And they did, and left. All right, fuck it. So, Aki, post the meme. I expect to have it on my desk by 7 a.m. Saturday. And for people who just want to know, uh, the time skip happens at 597. Oh, cool. 598, it's between those two chapters. Well. Uh, did you hear what, what I said while you were looking shit up? Or? No. Like, I bombed out the minute I started looking something up. <laughs> Your internet was like, I can't do both. I can't do both, man. Fuck you. Uh, yeah, I broke the hood latch on my car today. Oh, that's suboptimal. Mm-hmm. Like, not like the... F- I think I said the wrong thing. Not the thing that latches the hood to the rest of the car, but like the thing that you latch the the stand for the hood into. Mm. I was literally checking the oil and I go to put it back and it just goes, ding, 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 ding. and I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Because there wasn't one on this car when I bought it, so I had to buy that part and install it. And now, like a year later, it's broken. So I got to buy another one. Nice and nice too. Also, I'm pretty sure my car has a fuel leak and I'm taking it to the mechanic to get that looked at on Monday. And I discovered... While I was checking the oil, that the coolant tank has uh, has a leak. Boof! So that uh, that that trip I was planning uh, might be in might be in jeopardy at the moment uh, if I don't get that shit fixed by the end of December. True, 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 truth. Boy, oh boy, life's fun, isn't it? Life is a kick in the pants. Yeah, like people don't realize this because because I, I tend to just dump it and then play it off. But, like, while we're all very familiar and invested in the Punished Cody arc, the Punished Simeon arc has been going on for almost ten years now. Trum, 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 trum. Like, my dad was in the hospital again this month. He got discharged today. Mm. He went back to the nursing home, which is actually worse, 
Because I can't fucking see him at the nursing home because it's on COVID lockdown. But I could see him at the hospital. Mm. So I got to... My dad went to the hospital because he got an infected catheter. I don't even know why they gave him a catheter at the nursing home. But whatever. I got to see my dad for the first time in like a month. That's good. It's fucking... His health shit is always like the most painful shit to face. But, like, I feel like it makes me a better person. Like, it made me get a lot more health conscious when it started. And, like, it's made me take on more responsibility over the years as his health has declined. And, like, it was a, it was a, I have a coworker in a wheelchair who, I, who I'm, a, I'm a lot nicer to than some other people I see around the workplace. Yeah. I won't lie. She's cute. I've thought about asking her out, but that would be inappropriate. Don't do that. Don't ask your coworkers out, listeners. That's your lesson today. You get fucking fired for that shit. It's also yep. just rude. Yep. She's there to work, not to fucking date. And you're there to work, not to fucking date. Yeah. And where do we go to date? Because I'm not going to a fucking bar. What am I going to drink with fucking commoners? That's disgusting. I'll drink I'll drink at home alone while watching wrestling like a real Dave man. And Busters. <laughs> Dave and Busters. <laughs> yeah. Is Dave and Busters still a thing? Did that like get killed by no, the it's, pandemic? No, it's still a thing. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I've ever actually been to a Dave and Busters. I haven't, but I just know it's a thing. So yeah. I know there's one near me. It's like over by the mall, but like I've seen ads for it. I think I've seen it featured on TV shows, but I don't know if I've ever actually been to a Dave and Busters. I may have gone for someone's birthday at some point a long time ago. In a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> in a galaxy fur, fur away. Mm-hmm. It's pretty fur. It's pretty fur. It's, it's fur. Where the galaxy? It's a bird of fur. The good bird. I've seen that video. That's a sick video. <laughs> and I'm not going to link it in the description. Fuck you, listener. <laughs> oh, what now? I don't know. What do we do now? Because part of part of us is just going like, oh, we need to we need to do a podcast, right? Yeah. We need to do a podcast. But then there's a part of us going like, well, it's only us two making the podcast. We can just stop making the podcast and fucking watch fucking we, full gear. We can't we can't let Cody we don't have Cody's not here. He can't unload his 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 punishments and Buster isn't here, so we can't bully them. Like what what is this show without those two things? What do we do? Yeah. Um suggest so future topics for for just us in the video description in the comments of the video description. It's a separate thing. There's going to be a secret link hidden in the thumbnail. And if you can find it and go and leave a comment, we will actually do the topic you suggest. (laughs) Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, Uh, Is Full Gear actually over? It started at eight, friend. It's only been two and a half hours. Ah, damn it. What are we going to do? What are we gonna do? I don't know, friend, guy, pal. Uh, ten parts of it has been <laughs> uploaded to the place we watch. Sick. Uh, we could watch Danhausen. We're we're making a podcast. Do we want to watch it all at once, or do we yeah, want to have s- secret Danhausen audio commentary? Let's go. No, what I'm saying is like the the pay per view. What are we doing with the pay per view? Uh. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what I want to do, Buster. You gotta help me. I'm not Buster. Buster, where are you? Buster's died. They oh, died ten years ago. No. You need to move I, on. I can't. I have Alzheimer's. This is the future <laughs> of modular media. This is this is the special secret podcast. Welcome to Modular Media 2099, everybody. I'm the Vacuuminator, and I'm here with Snowcone62. Uh, Snowcone62, everybody. That's, that, that's your username, right, bud? <laughs> bud, help, bud, help me out here. <laughs> I wonder if anybody's actually still listening to this point. I don't know. We've been going at it for about an hour and uh, 20 minutes. Yeah. Well, you know, you know what they always say, folks. Things end. That's all. Everything ends and it's always sad. But everything begins again, too, and that's always happy. So be happy. Listen to another one of our podcasts. Help us out in the algorithm. But first, Boingo's got to plug his shit. Hi! 
Hello. Do you want to see shit I make? You talking to me or the listener? Well, they didn't give me an answer. They didn't say yes or no. Oh, fuck. I didn't hear anything. Do you want to watch shit I make? I mean, I do. Okay, cool. You do. Yeah. So, Vac, uh, what do you want me? What do you want to know? What, what kind of content do you want to see from me? Uh, will you ever release your remix of Butt Monkeys? Sir, I do not deal in NFTs. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to the way from the microphone. That was, that was a mistake. Anyways. Uh, uh, do you want to see some of the videos I make? Yeah. When's the fucking Hamtaro essay coming out? <laughs> 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 he left. I finally got him to leave. I, I I won components, everybody. I finally did it. You can all subscribe to me again, because I'm clearly the best boy. Go subscribe to youtube.com slash the vacuuminator. You spell it T-A-G-V-A-C-U-U-M-I-N-A-T-O-R. I make essays about tokusatsu, and then you can follow me on Twitter at the vacuuming area where I post stupid bullshit every day all day. It's great. You're gonna love it. Just like you love this fucking show. So give us a like, give us a comment, subscribe, ring the bell, follow us on Twitter at the modular media, join the subreddit r slash modular media, and be back here next week to listen to the next fucking episode. My alarm is going off for some reason. I don't remember setting an alarm by. <laughs> <laughs>